Hi, it's Sandra from ScanSpeeder, and today we're going to scan in some photos using an Epson scanner. And what, the first thing I do is I click Scan. You notice that ScanSpeeder picked up the fact that I have an Epson, recommends I do 600 DPI. I'm going to stick with 600, and I'll explain why after. I click OK, and ScanSpeeder starts to scan the photos. On the left hand side of the screen you see that ScanSpeeder has detected all three of my photos. I'm going to click Extract Photos in Step 2 and this lets ScanSpeeder auto crop the photos for me and also auto straighten them. Now that my photos are auto cropped, they're straightened, they don't need to be rotate, I'm going to tag my photos. What this does is it digitally embeds this information with the photo. You may not realize it, but a lot of your digital photos, either from your camera or your digital camera, they automatically tag photos. When you scan an image, there's nothing but the image. So if you don't tag information like the year or the name of the person that's in the photo, then that information won't be there. Then I'm going to click Save Image Files. And what I've done in this case, you'll notice, is right down here, Save to Folder, I'm saving the images directly to the cloud. I save my images on OneDrive. Um, that way they're backed up. And these photos I've started with my scanned photos. The first one will be 001, the second one will be 002. This case, I had some photos I had already saved, and so it's adding in a 7, 8, 9. This way I won't copy over any of my existing photos. And lastly, I've saved them both as TIFF and JPEG. TIFF is the format that's archival, meaning that it's good for printing later on, it's good for making enhancements. JPEG is compressed, so every time you make a change to it, it loses information. It also has a lot less data than TIFF, so it's smaller, which makes it great for social media, making slideshows, and emailing. I'm now ready to start my next batch of photos, so I click Start a New Scan. I'm not going to show that screen again. Click OK, and I'm going to continue on. Thanks for watching.